Hi everyone, welcome back to Shireen's Art Corner. Today I want to share a project using inkjet printer and tissue paper. And here are the items we'll need. For this project, we are going to need any kind of acrylic clear spray that you have here. I'm using the Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel. Um, and then you're going to be using a Mod Podge Ultra, which is Mod Podge, but in a liquid form. And um, the nozzle here got clogged, so I had to pour some into another bottle and I just labeled it glue but um, I've got it in there and then here I'm using an 8x8 um, canvas a stretch canvas and also we're going to need a pair of scissors a cosmetic wedge which I pick up at the Dollar Tree and then your image on um, printed on tissue paper on your inkjet printer so let's get started to show a couple of prints that I did on my laser printer and even though this technique would work the the later laser printer inside heats up as it goes through and so it kind of irons through the paper so if there's any wrinkles it just really enhances those wrinkles and it won't print completely um, you know you won't get a completely clear image printed so if you don't mind that look then you can completely skip the step about you know sealing these with the enamel spray and just print it on your laser printer and then and then use it um, but as you can see if I stretch out you have a lot of white spots here and that's why I decided not to use um, the laser printer for this project To print on tissue paper, you're going to take a sheet of tissue paper and just cut it out um, a little bit larger than your 8.5 by 11 copy paper. And then you just put it on top of each other and fold over the edges onto the copy paper um, and tape it down. So I usually just do the four corners. You can do the edges as well. Um, four corners works fine for me. So that's what I do. And then on my um, inkjet printer, I just put this face down into the tray and it prints on the other side. So then I get um, my image printed on the tissue paper. And as you can see, it doesn't bleed through. So um, as long as the tape doesn't get stuck on that copy paper and rips, you can reuse that copy paper. Now on this sheet, I've already added a couple of coats of the Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel. Again, you can use any kind of acrylic spray that you have that's clear. Um, I just um, sprayed on both sides. Now, one thing you wanna make sure is that you don't leave it um, on sitting on a surface otherwise it's going to get stuck so you want to hang it somewhere I just put it on my magnet clipboard and then let it just hang at, at the bottom without it touching any of the edges uh, once it's completely dry I went back out again and did the, the, you know, the second coat uh, but what we'll see um, as we're doing the the transfer onto the um, the canvas is some of the ink still bleeds so maybe it needs about three to four coats and maybe um, a little bit more dry time than just a few hours. So maybe depending on the look that you're going for, you can cut around the edges of the image or just use the whole sheet depending on, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. Here I try to cut around um, the image as close as I can. The less you have, the less you'll see that seam on the canvas once you're done um, transferring it on there. But um here I'm just cutting around and uh, getting it ready for the next step. Right here we have our canvas. You want to make sure that the canvas is really stretched. So in order to do that, these canvases are made of cotton and cotton shrinks when they get wet. So you would just apply water on both sides and rub it in. And then you're going to leave it to dry and then you'll see like within 10-15 minutes that's going to be completely stretched. And then you want to make sure that the canvas is completely dry before going to the next step. And then here I have that tissue that we cut out. And I'm just going to place it to make sure um, I set it where I um, want it to be on the canvas. And then I'm going to start applying the glue. And I'm just going to work, do one half and then do the other half. So I'm just going to peel over a half of that edge and then start spraying. Alright, so I'm going to start adding the 
Mod Podge Ultra on the canvas as well as on the tissue and then using the cosmetic wedge kind of push the image down um, making sure to remove any air bubbles and clear out any wrinkles as I go and the good thing about the Mod Podge Ultra is it gives you time to work with so it doesn't dry right away so I can still lift up the tissue um, print and then move it around or you know stretch it to make sure you know I clear out any of the uh, wrinkles and get out the um, all the air bubbles and things like that so um, that's really awesome one thing that you want to do is like I said maybe add a couple more coats of the clear acrylic spray I only did two coats and as you can see when as I um, do this you'll see some of the ink um, come out of uh, from under this uh, tissue print so um, I think what I'll do next time is give it a couple of more coats and then probably let it sit overnight for that uh, spray to kind of cure a little bit more before I use this technique. Um, it didn't bleed too much, but, um, you know, if I wanted a really crisp um, transfer, then I should, um, you know, definitely uh, add a couple of more of those coats. Guys, this is the final look. The last step I did was added a couple of coats of the enamel spray to give the canvas an overall glossy look. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys soon.